Hey YouTube, welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video with Mr. Terry as I continue my search for historical knowledge found here on the internet. All right, today's video comes from our awesome patrons over at Patreon, and they voted on this video, which is, it is a anti-communist propaganda cartoon called Make Mind Freedom. This comes out of 1948. So I have done a couple of reactions and checked out a couple of these kind of propaganda cartoons that came out of the United States in the 1940s. Um, I looked at more of like a, a government publication and then looked at one of the uh, Disney um, ones that they produced, which no, for a lot of you was hard to see because there's a lot of, uh, depending on your country, there's uh, different copyright things. And I know some of you found a way around that or whatever, but um, nevertheless, hopefully this one can find you well. All right. But yeah, I've really been interested in this idea of these like, these like uh, political videos put out right after World War II to try to bolster the American image and kind of vilify those that would be seen as like like an enemy of the United States. And it's a big part of the Cold War and you can see kind of a fired up nature of the Cold War when you start to see the way that they talk about the different ideologies that were being discussed post-World War II. All right, if you would like to vote on ver uh, future videos, you can join our Patreon. It starts a dollar a month if you want to support the channel. There is a link down below to the Patreon and you can vote every week um, at any patron uh, pledge level. All right, the original video is also down below if you'd like to check that out for yourself. Definitely support the channel that hosts this, which is the Best Film Archives, and they have a bunch of these kind of cool things, so definitely support them, give them a sell. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's do this. Oh, good old 4.3 perspective. Wait, wait, who's the uh, creator here? This is one of a series of films produced by the Extension Department of Harding College to create a deeper understanding of what has made America the finest place in the world to live. All right, baby, America. Let's find out why America is so great. Make mine freedom. All right. I don't even know if this is like animated or is it live action? Oh, it's animated. America okay. is many things to many people. To a 17-year-old kid, it's the malt shop on the corner. I th you know what? I know the old times get a lot of a lot of crap. But this is just good, wholesome fun, right? Kid, it's the, malt the old malt shop. I mean, what's the equivalent of this for youth today? We don't have general meeting places anymore. We don't even have the malls anymore. So, you know, you go after school and you go with your friends. You get a malt and put on the jukebox. Does this not sound like fun? Shop on the corner. To Grandpa, it's the front porch in the cool of the evening. Hey, I'm not going to knock on that. I like doing that, too. To Mother and her family, it's church on Sunday morning. And to Dad, it's his favorite relaxation. <laughs> Go. All right, it's very Disney-esque because everyone's kind of copy Disney when it comes to like animated films, a lot of physical humor and that kind of stuff. I think if anyone plays golf, you know that it is. I had to play, I just stopped playing golf because it was hard. It would just frustrate me. Um, they say with golf, you know, if you, if you have one good swing, one good hole, it makes up for the, you know, the other terrible ones. The Cracker Barrel Philosophers in Crabtree Corner. And it's the Tycoons in Wall Street. It's all races, creeds, and religions. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. They got kind of the Asian kid. Who's messing with the white girl's hair? Where's this going? It's freedom to work at the job. What, what, what is going on here? Hope that's, is that a statement? It's all races, creeds, and religions. It's freedom to work at the job you like. Freedom of speech and to peaceably assemble. Dude, look, it's it's Reddit, it's 4chan in animation form right here. This, this is it. 
Freedom to own property. Some say that's Security dying. From unlawful search or seizure. Where's your warrant, Flatfoot? The right to a... <laughs> Flatfoot? Search or seizure. Where's your warrant, Flatfoot? Okay, says, so where's your warrant, Flatfoot? Is this referring to, like, okay, so... In the world wars, like United States and most countries that, that fought, had drafts, right? You got drafted into to service. And there would be these medical deferments. And I heard one of them was flat-footedness, right? That people would claim just as like a pretty much a phony way to have some kind of medical exemption to not having to join the military. I wonder if that insult like came from that. Okay, what's going on here? From unlawful search or seizure. We'll hear it one more time here. Where's your warrant, Flatfoot? The right to a speedy and public trial. Oh, no. Are they really? Are they really doing this? <sighs> the 40s. Protection against cruel punishments and excessive fines. The right to vote. And to worship God in your own way. It is these freedoms that have made America strong. Okay, okay, so we got our freedom. But management's lousing up everything. Labor is at fault. It's ruining the country. My constituents, as your elected representative, I can assure you Labour's right, management's right. I'm strictly neutral. Labour, management, politicians, hooey. Uh, they can't tell corn from oats. Why, it's all right. <laughs> Take it okay. Hurry, 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 step right up, folks. Yes. Oh, man. Is, is this guy, okay, is, is it prediction time here? Is this guy going to sleaze his way into teaching about some kind of uh, extreme ideologies at this time? Um, are they gonna are they gonna bring in like communism or bring back fascism or something? There's an ism for everyone. Because we are introducing this amazing item for the first time in this country, it isn't going to cost you one cent. All you have to do is sign this little scrap of paper and you get your bottle absolutely free. I hereby turn over to ISM Incorporated everything I have, including my freedom and the freedom of my children and my children's children, in return for which said ISM promises to take care of me forever. Okay, so we're, we're just... Is this going to be anti any ism, any belief system, anti capitalism, fascism, communism, socialism? What is this going to be? Imperialism? It's a lot of isms. You can add ism to almost any word and it makes it a belief structure, I guess. Here's the smart guy, right? Pardon me. The smart guy. And who are you, my good man? I'm John Q. Public. Oh, my fine friend. John You're Q. just Public. in time to share this generous and gigantic offer. Sign right here. Mm. Mind if I read it first? Oh. Hurry up! Don't don't to to oh, no, yes, I was here first. Oh, no, no, People are quick to sign away their freedoms. Boys. No, including my freedom. Freedom? What? Well, sign away my freedom. Why, this is ridiculous. Don't be corny, brother. <laughs> sure, our system of free enterprise isn't perfect. But before we throw it away for some important okay. double talk, let's turn the clock back a few years. Great. Okay. This is going to be like It's a Wonderful Life. We're going to go see the alternate reality of what it looks like if we don't have freedom, right? Whatever we define that is, and everybody defines it their Here's own way, to right? See what it's done for us. For example, back in the 1890s, Joe Dokes was just a guy who liked to tinker around his barn. Some people thought Joe was lazy. Some even thought he was nuts. But one day, he had an idea. And because he was free to dream and dream and tinker, Joe had a chance to make something of himself and his idea. So, 
automobile. Sick car, bro. Sick car. Of course, some people didn't think so much of Joe's idea. But that didn't stop him. <laughs> he crashed. So Joe got some money from young Aunt Minnie and Uncle Angus. Yes. Cringe. Cringe. And Grandpappy. Whoa. And Mr. Titus. Dude, Grandpappy's loaded. When Joe's friends and All right, so what are we talking about? Good ideas and investments. Okay, great. Relatives use their savings to help him buy tools and property. They were capitalists. Don't blush, folks. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Now, naturally, Joe needed some help. So he hired Willie Lumpkin, who was out of work anyway. And before long, Willie had the know-how and became skilled labor. Because capital, management, and labor worked together, Joe's idea grew. It grew and did things even he never dreamed of. Today, the automobile industry provides millions of jobs that never existed before. And remember, this is a story of only one industry. There are thousands more scattered all over the United States whose history of development is pretty much the same. We've built a country under the American system that sends more young people to high school and college than all the rest of the world combined. Yeah, school! Why, even in the Depression, our wages bought more food, clothing, travel, and entertainment than the wages of any other people in the world. Pretty much. Our country has a national income equal to the total national incomes of any other six nations in the world. All right. Who are the caricatures? Is this like the British dude, the Russian dude, the German dude, the some Middle Eastern country, some other some, uh, other Europe? With only seven percent of the Earth's, we drive seventy percent of the world's automobile. That's just a sample of the things the capitalistic system has given us in only one hundred and six. Nice. Years. This is all okay. So this is just a pro. Capitalist video. Now, I mean, it just it said "Make Mind Freedom." I mean, the title for this one that that the the YouTube channel put is anti-communist propaganda. So I'm wondering if they're going to bring up communism or just they just use that for a title. Before signing up, you boys ought to try a little taste of Doctorism's formula to see what you get in exchange for your freedom. Go ahead, try it. Oh no, here's the communists. Here's what it is. Okay, here we go. Ready for communism? Here it is. Take you notes. Can't do this to me. I'll strike. The state forbids strikes. Wait till the union hears about this. Ah yes, the union. <laughs> so many of these groups, these yeah, union uh, or the, these type of um, proponents against communism are very pro-union though that's like what they're built on it's about collectivization and uh collective bargaining and not collectivization but um collective bargaining bargaining welcome to our ranks number 1313 power of strike i'll take this case to the supreme court the state is the supreme court <laughs> our decision is as follows <laughs> eat no more private property. No more you. Double yeet. Hey, the farm voter put a stop to this. Farmers don't vote anymore. Uh, what'll they do for seed next year? You won't have to worry about next year. The state will do your planning from now on. So they're, they're okay. So they're actually talking about collectivized, collectivization. They're talking about collectivization. And a command economy. So they're a type of economic system where the the decisions aren't made by the workers, but they're made uh, by a, an entity that is collectivized, right? Um, a command economy. So they, they'd be talking about like Stalin era, you know, um, uh, uh, type of communism. And again, I know there's, they're not, not to get into all the different people that have different ideologies of what 
a non-communist system would look like, but more, more, a lot of them would be activating a bunch of people probably in the comments right now talking about this, about how at its, at its root, it's supposed to be about the worker, the worker owns and operates the means of production. Um, and basically a democratization of the workplace, right? Where workers have more of a say on the influence and the decisions made by the company. And, uh, again, collectively bargain for wages and stuff like this. So they're talking about like a to they're, they're trying to, um, focus here on like a totalitarian regime that has a command economy, which means the workers aren't the ones making the decisions. It's, um, it's some other type of committee, a government or something like that. And that's where I know a lot of people differ about um, what people would say, whether it's socialism, capitalism, you want to get into that, the, the, defining the things, but um, the different buying beliefs. And, and it looks like this, this cartoon is focusing in on that command economy type of dictatorship. We must fight to regain our freedom or everything is lost. Everything! Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. No, what a nightmare! When anybody preaches disunity, tries to pit one of us against the other through class warfare, race hatred, or religious intolerance, you know that person seeks to He's rob out. us yeah. our freedom and destroy our very lives. And Get him, boys. What to do about it. Now, gentlemen, no violence, please. Don't throw those bottles. Don't throw those bottles. No, 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 no,
Um, animation again is becoming very, very uh, easy. And it was also very easy to control the media because this, when we talk about 1948, you're talking about before television. Um, so these types of videos would come out either in reels um, that you could, you could play in school. Um, they would play them sometimes before movies, like uh, fil full films and theaters. That's where they would be seen. And it was very easy to control this message, especially if you had the budget to make these sort of things, or maybe were the gov government themselves who could produce these and definitely get them distributed. So a whole generation of people were raised on this type of media. And the same thing would happen on the, if you want to call it the communist side, where it's just this kind of war of propaganda going into um, into the citizens. And that whole generation grew up with these ideas being fed to them, right? Which is at the heart of the ideological war of the Cold War. It's such an interesting part of history to see this like mix of governments and political ideology, industrialization, technology, whatever, all mixed up in kind of this experimental phase that really the early Cold War was. It's a fascinating part of history, I think, that we're going to be looking at uh, back on for many years to come. Anyway, I, I like I really love watching these. I think they're great. Um, do you want to see more of these types of videos? If you do, um, you can you can link them, come over to our Discord server and put them in the video suggestions tab. That's a great place to do that. Uh, patrons, uh, you can uh, get these things on you know, up for voting and you can vote for them when they pop up. So I know, again, I find these fascinating. I love to see more. I just got to know which ones are some of the good ones. So, all right, with that, the original video link is down below support best film archives. They have a bunch of this kind of stuff and um, great for historical value of, of archiving these types of things. And there's some links to some other things in the, de er, in the description as well. The uh, gaming channels that I have, if you're into video games and some other types of fun things. All right. And with that, we'll see you next time. Bye.